This is a day in the life of Shante Friday Stroud, Dean of the School of Business and Industry at Florida a and University. A typical day in my life is very fast paced and it's never boring because I'm always in meetings or interacting with faculty, staff, students, corporate guests, alumni, or other stakeholders that um, have business here with the School of Business and Industry. It is very rewarding uh, because I'm never uh, doing the same thing over and over day to day. You know how many students we have for the fall? For, for the, the one year, for the we have eight already admitted, okay. but I know we have two right here that's going to be approved. Okay. And then I'm going to bring that 10%. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm waiting on you to sign off on these two. Okay. Then I can bring that 10%. Okay. So we okay. have a total of 11. Okay. So and then, far. all right. And then, how many do we have for this summer? We have five. Um, it's so important to be accessible to faculty, staff, and students because at the end of the day, if you don't know what their needs are, what their issues are, then you really can't do your job effectively because at the end of the day, that's what your job is about. You're trying to make sure that you ensure that your students have the best opportunities that they can have, that they're having the best experiences they, that they could be having as a student. And that for faculty and staff, that it's a work environment that's conducive for them being as productive as you need them to be. So, how's it been? Been good. Good. How are you? Good. How's your day? It's going well so far. Good. So uh, I'm sure he'll be at the classic this year again. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. So he can have a seat. Thank you. When I came to FAMU as a student, I had this perception in my mind that I would be able to wear jeans and tennis shoes and t-shirts to class every day. But that didn't happen coming into the School of Business and Industry because coming here, we had to wear suits two to three days a week. And when you think about a 17 year old having to dress like my parents dressed at that age, that just was not what I kind of had in my mind. And I tell the students now, I understand the pains, the moans, and the groans that they feel about having to do a lot of things that we have them do here in SBI. Because as a student, you don't want to necessarily do all those things, and you don't always understand why it's important. Invigorating, yet also somewhat overwhelming to be the, school, the dean of a school that so many people want to come to and that so many people have high expectations of because you're always trying to make sure that you're doing uh, things that are in the best interest of the students for the students and that will help them to accomplish their ultimate uh, dreams and goals. So uh, while it's exhilarating, it's also sometimes um, overwhelming to think that you have the responsibility of ensuring that so many students actually go out there and succeed. I know that because of my upbringing, and the training that I received here at Florida a and University as a student, and then all the experiences that I had as a faculty member um, since joining Florida a and University, that all of those experiences prepared me to be ready for the opportunity when it was presented to me.
because I tell uh, students when I interact with them, I wasn't Jane SBI. I did not have a 4.0 GPA. Now, I graduated with a respectable GPA from my bachelor's to 3.36. Wasn't bad, but it wasn't, I guess, the best that I could have done. And one of the things that I tried to do was to tell my, my sister, who was three years younger than me, to not make the mistakes that I made coming in as a freshman. Those are the easiest classes you'll take in your life. And so come in the door, you know, earning 4.0. I didn't take that route. I went the lower GPA route, even had uh, my dad to tell me um, <laughs> after he looked at my transcript that first semester. He said uh, we needed to have a discussion, and my mother said, "Well, you know, she just needs the time to adjust." And my daddy said, "Adjust my behind. She better adjust me some 3.0s, or she would be adjusting back here in Miami." So, needless to say, I had to get my act together, and um, like I said, I ended up graduating with a 3.0. I mean, a 3.36. But I learned how to balance having fun and getting my work and so I always tell students never to forget your purpose you come here for your education but at the same time you have to enjoy college because I do believe that that makes the holistic college experience because Lord knows I thoroughly enjoyed my five and a half years at Florida a and University and I would tell anybody that you need to enjoy both sides you need to enjoy the, uh, the social side but not at the expense of your education so I feel like FAMU um, enabled me to have a very well-rounded college experience that I still look back on and have a great and fond memory.